So there's the next questions right there. It says state whether each of the following pairs is equal, equivalent, both or neither. And if you just watched the previous video, remember we would never answer equal here because if it is equal, it is both. So let's remind ourselves, what does equivalent mean? A equivalent to B means same number of elements. A equal to B means same number of elements. Plus, there's more there, exact same elements. And I want you to think copy and paste here. Okay. The reason why is I know on the homework and often on the test, there's a Roman numeral one and then there's the number one. And people are like, oh, well, mathematically, Roman numeral one and I, Roman numeral one is the same as a number one. Well, no, it's not. It has the same mathematical value. It's equivalent, but it is not equal. It is not the same thing. So if you see the Roman numeral one and the number one, they are not the same. Those two sets are not equal. They are equivalent, but they are not equal, okay? So remember, for it to be equal, it has to be literally a carbon copy paste. Okay, so let's look at this. The first example, it says state whether they're equal. We would never choose that. Equivalent, both, or neither. So let's look at this first one. And what I would do is I'm just going to call this set A, and I'll call the second one set B. I'm going to title them. That way I can just write N of A and then N of B, right? So N of A means the cardinality of A, meaning how many things, items are in A. The answer is A, E, I, O, U is a total of five things. How many things are in B? Notice there's no repetition. We have 3, 7, 11, 15, 19 is also five things. So what could we say about these things? The first thing we could say is both have five elements. The same number of elements. And the second thing we could say is they are different. A-E-I-O-U is not exactly the same thing as 3, 7, 11, 15, 19. So same number of elements and they are different. That means I am equivalent. A is equivalent to B. Okay, how about the next one? 4, negative 2, 7, versus the set 3, 4, 7, 9. Again, I'll title these sets A and B. The only reason I'm doing that is because anytime you see this problem, the first thing you should be doing is finding the cardinality of each set. So the cardinality of A is 3. The cardinality of B is 4. There's four elements in that set. I looked for repeats and I didn't. And I see a different number of elements. So, neither in this case, if you see neither, that's when you have different number of elements. So in this case, the answer would be neither. If I could spell, give me a second. N-E-I-T-H-E-R, neither. Okay, all right, let's move on to 14. So here's back where, look, I'm not having you write answers necessarily. Maybe one answer on the test will be in set builder notation, but you certainly need to be able to read and understand set builder notation. So let's look at this first set. The first set says the set of X such that X is an element of W, so that's whole numbers, and X is less than or equal to five. So we gotta remember whole numbers includes the number zero, less than or equal to five. So let's think about that. That first set would be the set zero, one, two, three, four, five. Let's think about the cardinality of that set. Cardinality of that set looks like it has one, two, three, four, five, six different items. 
So the cardinality of that first set is 6. Let's look at the cardinality of this second set, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, lowercase delta, epsilon, whatever. You don't need to know the letters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I see 6 items there. So what do you notice? It's the same number of elements, but it's different. And we go back and we think about it. What did same number of elements, but they are different mean? That means that they are equivalent. Okay, let's look at the next one. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, all the way up to the number 80. And then x, such that x is an element of the natural numbers and x is less than 17. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Well... If we wanted to know the number of consecutive numbers, remember we would do 80 minus 5, and then we would do that plus 1, high minus low plus 1. But these aren't consecutive. These are consecutive numbers divided by 5. So what we're going to do is 80 minus 5 divided by 5 plus 1, and because each one of those numbers is a multiple of 5, and that gives me a total of 16 elements. Okay. If you don't believe me, you can do it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, all the way up to 80, and you would count 60 elements as well. How about the second one right here? So this first set right here has 16 elements. The second set, set the set of x such that x is a natural number. So natural numbers start at the 1, 2, 3, and then it goes all the way up to the number. Looks like it has to stop at 16 because it has to be less than 17. So this one, I could do the high minus the low plus the 1, which in this case would be 16 elements. So you see they have the same number of elements, but clearly they are different. So if they're different, same number of elements, but different, that means they are equivalent. Okay, so just to let you know, a could be on the test, B probably a little too difficult on the test here. Um, a lot of you would have struggled with getting that there are 16 elements in the first set. So I'm not looking for that level of difficulty on the test, but certainly A could be on the test, right? Anything from example 13 could be on the test or 14A could be on the test. Likely not something as difficult as 14B. Hope that helps you out.